for whatever reason, the LiveView P2P camera app does not work anymore. If you try to sign in and then add it back, this is the error message that you'll get. The device has already been added by another account. Let's exit out the app and you'll need to download another app. It's called LTS Connect. Open the app. Create an account, sign in, everything like that. Open an app one more time. Go to the plus icon up here to add another device. You'll click on scan QR code. If you don't remember what the QR code is look like, go back into your network setting configuration on the NVR. Go to P2P networking and this is the icon, the QR code that you will see. Make sure that this is displayed so that you can scan it with your phone. Go ahead and now scan it. Obviously, it's not going to work again because it has been attached to another device. So go ahead and click on Unbind Device. Make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network as the NVR itself. So that means most likely you have to be in the same building, same room, whatnot. So make sure that you are on the same network and then try the process and bind the device one more time. If you are in the same network and then this is the message that you'll get. So go ahead and sign in with your NVR admin account, the password of that admin account, and then type in the capture code that's provided by the app. And then click on finish. Once you've done that, Everything is complete and now you're able to see all of your cameras one more time. If it does ask you for another verification code, go ahead and go back to the QR code page on your NVR. And this is the verification code that you have to enter in for it to work. A lot of things have changed since the days of the Dalala View. Currently, as an installer, I installed Amcrest or the Rio Link. This is a really nice Amcrest model, 4K. It starts out with four bullet cameras. They have white version as well, or the dome version. I'll have all the links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments section.